Hi, welcome back. This is my last vlog kind of explaining this new direction for the website and after this week I will be writing about some of these things. This will be my focus is kind of how God is continuing continuing to to work and shape me and teach me in these things. So the last piece of that tagline is restored to love. Now there's kind of a double meaning to that and that's why I loved this little phrase so much. The first part is restored to love and you'll see that it's capitalized and the reason it's capitalized is I was thinking of God himself. You know, some of you who have been reading my blog for a while might have heard this story, but even about five years ago, I started realizing, probably a little less than that, I've been on this journey of realizing that even though I know God loves me and I've experienced deep love from my parents, my in-laws, my husband, my children, and I felt that deep love too, that I had gotten to a place where I felt like God was sending me back to kindergarten, where he was really saying to me, Amy, you really don't understand my love for you. And it was true. And I had even gotten to a point, and I think it was because I had gotten so enmeshed in working and in ministry and kind of doing for God that I had lost track of that it wasn't that doing. That wasn't the reason that God loved me at all. And so God sent me on this journey and he's been taking me on this journey to really restore my understanding of his love for me. And so many amazing, miraculous things have happened along the way. I shared about my trip to India. That was a huge kind of breakthrough when I realized how much God loved the women there. And it gave me an insight and a glimpse into how much he loved me and he kind of broke through this little shell that was around my heart. And um, and so I'll continue to write about that because, you know, like I said before, this is not because of some big bad thing necessarily in my past, and maybe some of you feel this too. This is just a struggle of my, my sin nature, the part of me that, or the part of my personality that tends to want to work for approval. And I continue to have to try to kill that off and, and learn how to live just completely restored to God's love. The other piece of that, and the other way that I think that we could look at it, it's kind of like one of those pictures that if you, that picture where if you look at it one way, you see an old lady, and if you look at it the other way that you see a young maiden, this little phrase is like that too. And I love to think about it in terms of restored to love other people. Now this is where I kind of started when I was thinking about relaunching the website because I've talked a lot about mentoring in the past and my mentors, that's such a big part of me and a part of my life and I love to share about it, I still love to, but I've had this little shift from mentoring to investing. So we are created not to hold all our blessings to ourselves, not to, to, to just grasp all the things that we're learning just for ourselves, but that we would pass them on to others, that we would pass on our resources in terms of what we know, what we believe, what we have materially. We are called to invest those in other people, that we are restored to love other people enough that we share our blessings. And so I've been able to experience that, yes, in terms of mentoring, and I still am being stretched and learning about how to be a mentor and how to seek out mentors, but also in volunteering, in missions trips, and in all kinds of ways, God just keeps challenging me to invest my life that that is where I will find full satisfaction in life, that we pursue so many other things to fill ourselves up, but the only way to fill ourselves up is to find love in God and also to love other people, to pour ourselves out until it seems like we would be empty, but we pour ourselves out until we're full. It's an amazing phenomenon. So this is the direction that this website will be going, that we'll be talking about a lot of the same kinds of things. It's just a little bit of a shift. And I wanted to share with you my 
faithful friends, my friends who have been with me, because um, you're important to me, and I love you all, and I, I'm thankful for you. So thank you again for coming by the website today. I would love for you to invite your friends here, and um, I look forward to continuing to connect with each other in the future.